Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel, My Vagabond Style. I'm Debbie, and I'm going to make another random glue book. So we finished this one, and uh, I have a little process that I do, and I'll take you through it. If you, if you didn't see this series, there is a playlist that I'll link below for this journal. It's just really fun. We take it in steps. I randomly wander through this journal. Like, I don't work on one page till it's done. I'll work on something and then maybe put an image down. We'll come back to it later on. It's just kind of wherever, you know, I wander to. Maybe it should be like a wandering journal. <laughs> but I, I do enjoy this so much. So and, and you guys have too. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do another one and call it the same way. Do the same techniques that I used on this one. I went ahead and I had another one of these... Uh, real estate pamphlets that I had picked up last time I was in Mexico. They throw these out at the end of the month. And so I just grabbed it um, at the end of the month. And what I did this time that I did different is I went ahead and reinforced the spine on this one. So it's held together with staples. And what I decided to do was go ahead and um, bind it. So I did a five hole pamphlet stitch on this. It's not necessary to do this. I just am going to keep these. And um, I know that working in them continually does break down the um, integrity of the whole thing. So when then what I did was before I put the uh, pamphlet stitch on, I reinforced it with this material. So I don't think this one's going anywhere. And then I just painted the front haven't decided what we're going to do as for the cover, but uh, I just wanted to get it to this point for you guys. There is a video on me repairing this one that I can also link below in the description box. And if you are unsure how to do a pamphlet stitch or repair your journal, uh, it's, it's a good reference. So I went ahead and I just finger painted a few, a few pages, two pages. I had these colors out, so I did this again. Um, but I just finger painted this one. I wanted to show you that you can finger paint if you, um, this is just regular craft acrylic paint. And then I also did the credit card technique where you take a credit card and you just smear it, you smear the paint across with, with the credit card. That's it. Um, there's all kinds of things. If you don't want to use acrylic paints, you could absolutely put scrapbook paper down if you've got old scrapbook paper. Don't think you have to paint. Um, I just enjoy it, so that's that's what I do. And then I have also used on this one, oh, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Um, this is an old jelly print that I had taken a copy of. So I did jelly printing and then I took a copy of it. So it's thin copy paper, which is nice in here. It doesn't get so thick. Uh, and then this is as well, the same thing, jelly, uh, jelly print paper. So that's the first thing you do is get some color down on here, whether it is the scrap of paper or the paint. And then the next step that I like to do is get some bits and pieces down. So what I mean by that is like tissue paper. So here's some tissue paper. I, I save it like if I get a gift, something like that. If I, uh, <laughs> we went to a hotel and the toilet paper had this tissue paper wrapped around it that had these cool circles on it. So I saved that. Yeah, I'm that kind of weird person. So I would like to use that just to like, so my husband doesn't think I'm completely insane. Tissue paper is great. Also napkins. So with the napkins, when I'm using it for the bits and pieces, I'm not trying to do like a focal point. So I would probably use like some, you know, like not really a bunch of this, but well, maybe we'll use this one so I can show you. When you go to your friend's house and they have cake and they have little napkins sitting out that you think are pretty, just put yours in your purse. Okay. And that way you'll start your little collection. This one I got from a friend's house that was had us over. And I, this would not be one that I would use for the bits and pieces, but it would be great for a focal point. So I'm just trying to show you what I like to use and what I don't like to use. So this I will definitely keep for, um, wouldn't that be cute on this one? Anyway, 
So there's that. The next thing that I also like to use, and I'm when I'm saying this, you can use one of these things, you could use four of these things, whatever, you know, it doesn't, whatever, it's up to you. This was some of a gift that we gave my dad. <laughs> it's wrapping paper. So yeah, tuck that in my purse. And the next thing would be like washi tape. So any kind of washi tape that you have around, if you want to do like a little strip of washi tape here and there, you could do that. You can use non-focal magazine images. So what I started doing is I made this folder up just for the random collage and something like this, where you're going to just rip off a piece and put it in the background. All of these will work. And I like to have it in this little zipper container where I can just rip off a piece, you know, in this little plastic thing that I got off of Amazon. You could also use maps. I have maps that I have. This is just my scraps from other projects, but there are some maps in here that would work um, or other things. So just get your little scraps out and see what, what will work as you're, you know, working on this. Let's just go ahead and put a bit of something down. How about I use that napkin that we were talking about? Okay, so this, my used napkin. <laughs> oh, I think I already took this off the back, maybe. Okay, so there's the two plies, which you can save this if you want. Like, I know that's hoarder-ish, but um, these are great to stamp on. I may or may not keep it. And then what I do here is I like to get my little pin that is a water pin, water brush. And I just kind of go around it because it will actually let you rip once you wet it. Okay, so then you could take this little bit here. I'm going to grab my glue stick and my little glue book, my glue pages. And just put some down. You may or may not see this in the end. But I, I do really like how the napkins just kind of blend in there. And sometimes these like these pages run together. Other times they're just coordinating, like maybe all the colors look good together kind of thing. As far as one page to another. But like now is a great time to hang out and craft with me. If you've got something to craft with, you know, a, a book. Let me get my scraper. Yeah, if you've got an old book that you want to use, I'm talking just a regular book. You can absolutely use that for this. Okay, so we've got that down. It just adds a little something. Okay, this was in my scrap, my little scrap bag. I can put some of this magazine page down. Also, I was just going to say that if it's just me working on this, I probably would do several background pages because if I've got the paint out, I'm not going to want to, you know, get the paint out, uh, get all goopy, and then clean up 
move on and then drag it back, back out again. So it makes more sense that, you know, if you're feeling like it's a painting kind of day to go ahead and take out your acrylics and, you know, do, I would do, I don't know, probably five or 10 different pages and then have them all ready to go for the next session. But I know you guys would get kind of bored with that. So that's why I break it up and do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And that's really enough. I don't have to put a ton of stuff on here, just something. So let's um, do it to the other one real quick that I had in here, the yellow one. And when I'm working on this, I also don't go front to back. I do some randomly in the middle, the front, the back, otherwise your spine warps. So you definitely want to uh, not go from front to back. Okay, let's use some of this tissue paper on this one. And I like using the circles because I made circles on this, so I think it's kind of nice to have the circles on here too. going to put it on the side sometimes I like to cut it straight so it's got a straight edge there but it you don't have to uh, I liked showing you guys that you can use things that you find you know like it doesn't you don't have to run out and go buy some decorative napkins Maybe you've got some tissue paper from a gift or wrapping paper, you know. And yes, I'm probably known as the crazy auntie that sticks trash in her purse for her artwork. and But they still love me, so I'm okay with it. I'll put maybe one to, I don't know, four or five pieces of bits and pieces on these and then kind of move on. So maybe one more here on the bottom. This is really kind of a stress-free project. I always find it relaxing to work on the random glue book. So at that point, I'm good. And I'll do the next step. This is um, pretty much a takeoff from, I should say, a takeoff from Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives, if this looks familiar to you. Uh, Shannon Green, I don't know, it must have been about seven, eight years ago now that she did the Journaling by Fives, which was a timed exercise, really good. Like if you, uh, I'll link her channel and her video below because it's, it's such a great exercise in letting things go and not um, overthinking things. So definitely recommend doing the journaling by fives. Just follow her video. Like, look at her steps, follow her video. It's great. Okay, so the next step is I, I either do um, stenciling or stamping next. So I think I'm going to do some stenciling. Let me grab my stencils. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my basket of smaller stencils. I just ordered some more and uh, they should be coming here. I don't I ordered them from Timu, so who knows how long they'll take, but we'll as soon as I get them I'll show you guys my Timu haul. Maybe we'll use this one. I also like the fact that I have this in here because again, don't you don't have to go out and buy stencils. This is just some corrugated cardboard that would work. I'm going to use this one here. Maybe we'll use the corrugated cardboard on the next one. Okay. 
So I'll just ink up this little brush, which I really like these brushes. I think that's on my Timu order too, is more of these brushes. And just kind of rub it around here and there. I'm not really even knowing how this is going to turn out, but we'll, oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. This just kind of gets you going. This gets things down on the paper. Who knows whether you will see any of this or a lot of it. By the time we get the focal images in, well, I would like this one a lot with that yellow. Put a little bit in the corner, maybe on this corner. And I think we'll call that good. Okay, let's look at the next, the other page here. Okay, let's try some of this on here. Okay, maybe we should just use black. I know, don't laugh at my little pads. <laughs> I, I use them a lot when I travel. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll try it. Mm, it's pretty faint. I think if I used paint, you could use a little paint on that. Okay, you guys, I'm not afraid to get messy. I know some of you don't like getting messy. If you don't, just get a brush and I would brush it on. But since I'm not afraid to get messy, I'm just gonna put it on my finger and see if we can. It's a little better, it's not great. Okay, we'll do something else. That's not fabulous. Okay, let's try a different stencil. This is scrapbook paper. We could do this. Yeah, it was some scrapbook paper that I got one time at Hobby Lobby, I think. But it makes a great stencil. I'm going to use this... Um, sponge okay i think that's that's good we'll leave it at that let me get a baby wipe and get some of this ink off my fingers So at this point, like if I wasn't ready to put any focal images down, I could just go move on and maybe finger paint or spread some, some paint on another page, you know, make some more background pages on here. So what I like to do here is just put maybe one focal image down, that's it, and then move on. And I don't like to think about it too much. I just want to put something on the page and see where it goes. Let me grab my focal images. I've got my thing of images, a little basket here, and let's just see. I do like this one here. I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, I did take a peek through here a, a minute ago, and um, just to kind of get an idea of what was in here. I haven't been in here in a while. Um, and you know what? I think I do want to cut this off here. I'm going to cut this off right about here in case I want to put something else. And I only did a little bit of the non-committal glue, just a, a tacking in case I want to move this because I don't know what other images we're going to put on here. So 
and this I don't know if it's gonna go with this one or not let's just see I've got some farm things that might work in here but right now I just want to get an image down so let's just move on and I will look at this other page that we did the blue one uh, sorry you can't see in my little basket Oh, that's kind of dark for there. There's a sexy, sexy shoe. But I don't really like it with that particular background. This is interesting. It's kind of creepy at the same time. I don't know that I like that one. We might be able to fit something fun with that. This one, I cut this one out recently. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I like it. I'll cut this off. It was on like a whiskey barrel. And I feel like we could do something over here to make that work. So let's just go ahead and do a little tacking of this one. I don't know if that's supposed to be Lincoln or who. I'm not sure. This one. I do like that. But I don't think he's got the ticket to the train, does he? You know what? Let's just do it. Why not? We'll make it work. I'm not sure where to put it, but we'll just do a little tack down. I'm not going to cut that off because I don't know if I'll move it around. I could even, you know, make it go up or down or this doesn't go in with this, but I do like this banana. We're going to have to use that. I kind of want to do like a whole theme here. I've got a saddle. Let me see if I can find some horses or something. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm back. It's the next morning. <laughs> I got a little sidetracked. I did look through some images and I found this and I thought, you know what, this would be kind of nice to put on the other page. And I could even maybe even slide this back behind over here. That's why I like the glue stick. You can just kind of pull it up and put that behind there if I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Not sure where. Maybe about there. Again, non-committal glue stick. That's that's my trick. Okay. And then I was looking through my sticker book because I thought it'd be nice to put some trees in there. I would love like just a tree book. I just seem to be using the trees out of this. And I went around and I cut, you know how this Okay, the book that I'm using, I should tell you, is this one right here, the Botanist sticker, that one, and all of these stickers have that edge on it. So I just took my scissors and I went all the way around this one, and maybe we could put it like somewhere here or something. Let me, let me tack this one down here. I think I could put that up a little bit. that up there. And then we could put this somewhere here. I think I'm just going to put it right here for right now. I also, when I was um, looking around this morning, I was talking to you guys about just using scrapbook paper. So here's some ugly old scrapbooking paper that you could use as a background. I just cut it the exact size that I wanted because I know some of you guys do not want to use paint and I just want to show you how easy it is to just use scrapbook paper. So 
So I would just turn it over and use a little glue stick. And then I'll go over it with also some art glitter glue. And this is so quick and so easy. So yeah, I get it why some of you don't want to use the paint. Also, like I wanted to talk to you about a little bit about like, when are you the most creative? What's the best time for you? Like some people are very creative in the evening. And um, for me, like it's the morning. I absolutely can walk away from something in the evening and come back the next morning and go, oh my gosh, it's, you know, right here in front of me and, and just get going. So find out when you are your most creative. And I think especially too, as you get older, like it makes a difference. I used to craft till midnight, one in the morning when I was working <laughs> because that's when, I, that's when I could do it. I didn't have any other time that I could, you know, work on things. So anyway, yeah, so that's done. And then I would just do the bits and pieces and the stenciling and I'm right up with this, these other pages. So, and then I looked at this again and I'm like, yeah, I like it. He is waiting for this train. This is definitely staying in here. So I can cut this little edge off here. And we can find other things too for the background here. I just like to bounce around, you guys. I, I love to um, figure things out randomly. <laughs> That's my random glue book. Okay, so I do want to find a person to go in here or a dog or something. I need a human aspect, a living other than the tree, something else to go in here. I did have that saddle that I would love to find somebody to jump in that saddle. So I need to look through for some people. Let me grab my people. I have my people separated because I'm doing paper dolls or altered people. So, you know, I have like all their body parts, eyes mouths, noses, and then just people. Um, I have someone in here I was thinking about that might work. Where is she? She looked very country to me. She's still in here. I don't know if I used her or what. Let's see her. Sometimes that happens. People get lost. Oh, here she is. <laughs> right in the front. Maybe we could put her just kind of wandering in. She's big though. We cut this down just a hair. All right, I kind of like her right here. Let's go ahead and commit to this. So when I say commit to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the put a little more glue here so that it stays in place. And this book is just a lot of fun for me. I don't, you know, I don't take it super seriously. I don't know if I take really a lot of my art super seriously. So that's why I kind of don't, you know, make sure that I have every little edge down. And I always come back and do things to it later. And, uh, 
So that's, it's nice not to have every little edge down permanently. Just the parts that I think might get folded over. And then I'll go ahead and glue that down there. I need to add more to this bottle. It's getting kind of low. I'm going to leave this right here because I want to find like an animal to go in there. Maybe like that, I had like that weird goat. Let me see if I can find the goat. I found the goat. He is kind of cut off on the top of him, but I still like him. I'm not 100% sure on the goat, but we could go ahead and put it. We could maybe put some words here later on or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to tack him down for now. If I find something to better, I'll change him out. But for now, he's going to go right there. And then I think this, I'm going to move it up just a hair, and I'm going to cut it and move some of the tree on the other side. Sometimes I like to do that if I'm trying to like bring it together, uh, you know, like make it even more cohesive here. So I would just put that about there and then put the other part of the tree right here in the fold. I could fold it, but it just seems like, you know, opening and closing it sometimes it just doesn't do real well. So I'm just going to glue stick this down. Maybe with a little more on the back of this. And then I'll put the other part right there. Got some little bits right here that are kind of because they're so tiny. I'm going to use the art glitter glue to get those down. You guys, I feel like this was a good start to the new random glue book. I hope you had a good time today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It does help my channel get noticed, especially if you hit the thumbs up button on there. So I appreciate you guys spending time with me. I know there's lots of channels out there to visit, and I am just flattered that you would spend time with me. So I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye for now.